The consumer is practical, but she wants style. She has less free time on her hands, she's looking to spend more time with her family, and she's looking for the supplier to create experiences. And I think that's what our challenge is, that open concept and smaller homes, fashion and function to live their best life. Furniture has gone casual, so what goes on the table needs to be casual too. So the millennials prefer um, staying at home over going out and they're perfectly happy on a Friday night with game night and having their neighbors in than spending a whole lot of money that they really don't have. Whereas the Gen X um, enjoys an increased income, they are going out more, they're spending more online and they have more of a disposable income and they're enjoying you know, their life at this point and buying their first home and entertaining and decorating. Baby boomers are a combination of the above as they remodel or rebuild. They look to Gen X and the Millennials for inspiration. So I say that merchandising and cross merchandising is extremely important. You need to show the customer what they want, what to buy, and how many at the end of the day. So when we're setting a table, for example, start with the linens, add the napkins, add the napkin rings, add the barware, which is huge this season. You're going to see a lot of it this fall. If you show the customer how to use additional products, it's just more it on sales. So the trends here at market this year are extremely exciting and interesting, but blue and white forever, and it's, what can I say? And quartz, you're going to see it everywhere this fall. You'll see it on coasters, you'll see it on placemats, you'll see it on um, cheese boards. Pastels, so glad to see you again. I think that they're fun and inviting and make a table look beautiful. I saw a lot of pottery type dinnerware, perfect for casual dining and lifestyle and what we're going to see on our table this fall.